welcome back to the channel for another self-care sunday vlog it has been months since i've put out a self-care sunday vlog and i think i'm back in the groove of things and i'm kind of ready to share as you guys can see we're in houston girl i was advised by my let me sit down so we could chitty chat chat um, i'm going to give you guys a room tour and all that if you haven't already seen it most likely it didn't but um i was advised by my therapist to do like a staycation and when i was in new orleans girl i was like i want to go through tsa i want to see the airport i just check me okay i want to get out of here so i decided to book a little staycation in houston and i'm staying in city center one of my favorite spots in houston i always anytime i'm in houston i'm always coming over here for something whether i'm getting dinner or just hanging out with friends for drinks or something so i decided to stay here i'm staying at the moran city center this used to be um hotel sorella's but after the pandemic it changed so if we're being honest when it comes to self-care sunday like i said we're back oh speaking of self-care sunday girl i got a therapy session in oh we got 30 minutes um when it comes to self-care sunday i'm gonna bring self-care sunday back to my channel but i'm also gonna i'm not gonna put any expectations on it i'm going to kind of like share as i go or as i feel like sharing i used to do every first sunday i'll put out a self-care sunday vlog but now i don't know i'm in like a i like this stage that i'm in right now in my self-care personal development journey i'm discovering so many things about myself the past few months has just been a lot of ups and downs but i'm honestly just like blessed and I'm learning I'm gonna say that she's learning and she's growing I definitely see my growth so even like right now being here alone y'all don't understand this is the type of self-care that I need in this video we're gonna go a little more into detail like a self-care update but I literally just got checked in I'm going to dinner tonight with some of my friends I don't really have expectations for this trip. I, I don't plan on doing any shopping, but I think I want to pop up to Hermes to see if I can find these Aran sandals that I'm looking for. I don't need them, but I would like to have them. Um, and yeah, I'm about to do my therapy session. After the therapy session, y'all, I just want to go to the pool. I just want to go to the pool. That's it. Sit out, and it is Mother's Day weekend, so happy Mother's Day to all of my girlfriends that are mothers. G is not a mother, so she's going to treat herself like the queen that she is because she's not a mom but they do call me mother okay um but yeah i'm about to do something with myself because you know what i, don't, I think i'm gonna just put on like wash my face because i'm just fresh off the plane wash my face and put on sunscreen put on my visor put on a swimsuit and we gonna go to the pool but i have a therapy session at 12 because i didn't cancel that because no baby wherever i go we going I don't care if I have to be at a restaurant in the bathroom doing a therapy session. I would do I would do so. But yeah, girl, this is much needed. But anyways, I'm rambling. Let's go ahead and get into this room tour because if you're ever in Houston and you want to do like a staycation or you just want a cool little spot to like pop up and eat. And what I like about City Center, you don't have to drive anywhere. They have restaurants and everything, shopping, everything. I'm looking at Lululemon. I think we need to pop up in the Lulu. Um, yeah, you don't have to drive. You just check in and just walk. But you can go places if you want. But my expectations, I was like, okay, I don't want to go anywhere this weekend. I just kind of want to sit by the pool all day. So I'm going to link up with some friends. But anyways, let's um do this room too, girl. All right, so this is the door when you first walk in. And over here, there's a full body mirror, which I love. So I'm going to be definitely doing some old... TDs or outfits of the nights, nice, depending on whatever, whatever, whatever. And right now, I just have on a Nike dry fit, my yoga pants, black socks. And this is a nice size closet. I've already unpacked all of these shoes. Girl, look at all these shoes. I packed, they have more shoes back there. All of these shoes for literally, I'm gonna be here two days. Of course, we had to pack the boots, okay? We had to pack the boots. Um, Yeah nice closet space they gave me two 
robes ignore my finger i smashed it and i just put my luggage and stuff there so a nice little space for um your things now over here there's the restroom one thing about me anytime i go to a hotel y'all i absolutely hate carpet on the floor so anytime i'm looking for a hotel i always make sure it has hardwood because i hate carpet but when you walk into the bathroom and it has this sliding door like so oh. over here there's a standing shower I look forward to seeing what these smell like because at hotels, sometimes I'm, I'm like literally, I get obsessed with like the hotel scent. So I wanna see what that smell like. And this is the sink, mirror, hey girl, hey. Over here is the toilet area. So yeah, and once you come out of the room, this is like the overview. Now, when you stay here, definitely, oh, it's not that dark y'all it's because the windows and um, when you stay here you have to ask for like the city view at nighttime y'all it is gorgeous this is the bed i got a king size bed because ever since i said in the king size bed at the other hotel i'm just like obsessed i need a king size bed at home nightstand i absolutely love the details on the like the lamp and y'all look at this headboard can we just get into it i live okay Look how gorgeous it is. It's like leather and it's so, so stinking cute. It's just fabulous. But yep, this is the bed. Once you come over here, you have like a little lounge seating area where most likely I'll be doing like some edits because of course I'm gonna be working. And this is the view. So pretty. And these close completely because I live for me a blackout curtain girl. Let me see. So this is city center and I got the city center view and at nighttime you can see like the Houston skyline. So, so cute. And that's the pool where we'll be going in just a second. And see, as you can see, it's like they have this green grass where you can hang out. This is a restaurant. They have restaurants like all around, like all of these are restaurants. This is shopping over here. That's a restaurant, more restaurants, raw sushi. It's like a, a little town super super cute so i look forward to going out by the pool girl that's how i want to be just laid out fry me baby fry me deep fry g um over here we have the tv um they have a fridge but uh i don't think i'm gonna use their fridge y'all look what i got so this is i picked up this literally yesterday on Amazon I was like listen every time I travel if you know me you already know what this is <laughs> every time I travel I'm like fighting to find a good Prosecco so I literally found this little case and I'm gonna link this down below because y'all it literally worked none of my own um, wines were broken or anything so I look forward to um, carrying this on travel so they had like a little corkscrew i guess tsa took that out of my luggage wow but it comes with like a wine cork popper whatever i think that's a cork yeah no the thing that you open a wine and you can have a wine glass over here or you can have two bottles i decided to do two bottles and oh y'all i was a little nervous that this would break in my suitcase but it did not it was like 35 dollars, but it's so worth it and every time i travel i would definitely be going ahead zipping her up and popping her in my suitcase so we're about to put some of but both of those on ice um i took my speaker with me because i don't travel anywhere without her we're listening to the future album because i'm obsessed my computer sunglasses all my jewelry and all of my mess so oh and you have a chair a lamp blah 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 so this is an overview of the room and yeah so I'm about to freshen up, do my therapy, well, do my therapy session, freshen up, and I will see you girls a little later. All right, y'all, so I'm about to go down to the pool to have like a little pool day. I just got off the phone with one of my friends. We're gonna go out for dinner, hookah, and drinks. 
I'm not really a hookah girl, but you know, the Houston girls love hookah child. I don't understand it, but that ain't my business. But right now I just have on my ASO swimsuit, black, my Prada nylon pants. I think this swimsuit is back in stock. If I can find it, I'm gonna link it down below. Dior visor, Fendi sunglasses, Hermes slides, and for the pool bag, we're gonna take the Goyard tote. Um, definitely about to pop the bottle of Prosecco and put it in my little tumbler there. And hold on. yeah, that's the vibe. So while I have time, because I think we're gonna go to dinner or hang out tonight at 8, 8.30ish. I kinda wanna like go to the pool, relax, put on my earphones. I'm gonna leave my computer because anytime I take my computer somewhere, I'm like tempted to edit. Oh, I need to make sure I take my lip gloss. Uh, okay, y'all. So let's go down to the pool. First of all, let me see if the pool is still packed because they did have, it looked like clouds trying to come. Uh, they have people, but whatever. I'm still going. Oh, y'all can't see me, but I'll just see y'all once I get down there. Let me pack my bag. All right, so now y'all can get the full OOTD. Black swimsuit, shorts, bag slides. The most important thing of the day, the Seki. <laughs> Let's go. It is so freaking quiet, so peaceful. Everything that I need right now for like a little staycation. There's people on the other side, but of course we're not gonna show them because they're actually looking at me like I'm crazy. But y'all, this is such the such a great place for like a staycation, vacation vibe. It is literally everything. I wanna get in the water, but we'll see how everything goes. <laughs> so y'all, I'm at the pool and I met a girlfriend and I've been sitting here talking to her for a mini on. Okay. <laughs> hey girl, hey. Hey girl. <laughs> <laughs> and I met a, a new friend. She said she camera shy, so we'll see. <laughs> and it's her birth, well, it was just her birthday. So it's a happy belated birthday. Y'all, the Prosecco. I finished this Prosecco, they finished this bottle, and then on to the next. So I guess you could say, it's a vibe, okay? It's, vibe. it's definitely a vibe, okay? You a side vibe. Big time. Okay, so quick update, girls. Just leaving the pool, y'all. I have literally been at the pool with one of the girlfriends for hours, okay? It was such a good time. Hey, sure, girl, if you're watching this, it was such a pleasure beating you. Um, y'all, we just said that girl with a whole kiki. I literally felt like this girl was my like friend. Like, I feel like I've been knowing her for years, but um, I'm about to go downstairs and grab something to eat from like Yard House or something. The Prosecco. <sighs> the Prosecco is Prosecco, okay? But that's neither here nor there. I have to hurry up because it's 5.09. I have to be ready for dinner for eight. My friend told me to be ready for eight. I'm about to go downstairs and get something to eat because I'm hungry. Like, we're hungry and we're about to go, we're gonna go to dinner and drink some more, but yeah. And we're going to Lost and Found, so I'll see y'all later. You looking so good. I'm down for you. I... So I just finished eating a late, early, early dinner. I don't know. I'm brushing back to my room because I need to get dressed and kind of lost track of time. Y'all. Oh my god, what is wrong with this key? What is really happening? Um, I kind of lost track of time, just a little. I never stay in a hotel without doing this. Um, I lost track of time because I was at the uh, pool with a girlfriend Then I needed to grab something to eat in case the place I went to tonight with my friends, I didn't like it. I needed to eat something because I haven't had anything to eat all day. I didn't take a shower. Y'all, yeah. oh, that's so tacky. 
I just need a moment. So I'm about to sit right here, eat, and I ate most of my food at the restaurant, but I had to rush and leave because it's six right now. I need to be ready to go by eight, and I still have to do my hair and makeup and iron my clothes. I'm not an ironing type of girl, but I'm about to sit down and eat, but and look out the window. But whatever, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> It is 7.19 and I'm about to wash my face and we're gonna catch up just a little. I wish I had something else for y'all to stand on because y'all are on the tripod, but it's gonna be like a weird angle. But uh, maybe I should turn y'all around, huh? Let's see if that works. Maybe this will work. All right, so this is gonna have to work. Um, Y'all, I did not meet up with my friend last night after I, Went to get something to eat. Oh, I need a towel. After I went to get something to eat, I came back to the room. It was like six, and I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna just get um, lay down for like two seconds." Now, one thing about me: if I start drinking prosecco and I'm not active, it makes me so sleepy. Girl, I literally went to sleep, and I didn't wake up to about ten. I was supposed to be with my friends at eight. I had to literally call, text her. I was like, oh my God, I feel so bad because I'm over here knocked out, but I'm up early because I need to get something to eat. But hold on one second. I'm about to wash my face with my, this is Kiehl's face wash. This is the only face, face wash I use. It's like amazing. Um, I'm gonna link it down below. I usually try to get it on their like 30 or 40% sale because I like the big bottle now. But hold on one second. Um, also, I buy like baby wipes. These are water wipes. I don't like to use hand towels on my face. I don't know why I grab that. Um, I buy these because they don't hold bacteria. And if you wipe, constantly wash your face with towels they hold bacteria and you can like get breakouts and stuff so i use water wipes this wasn't supposed to be a morning routine but i guess that's what it's turning into because i know if i don't tell y'all the products i'm using y'all gonna definitely ask about them now i've been using this new toner because the toner that i usually use it was sold out and i usually like the versed toner so i got this toner from walmart um i'm not gonna recommend it because one i've only been using it for about a week and i don't really see a difference or i don't feel anything don't know if it's working so i'm not gonna really recommend this i just needed a toner and for eight dollars it was like a large bottle now girls, when y'all doing y'all skincare, y'all need to make sure y'all catch it at neck because child, listen, the neck should not be left behind. And anytime I'm doing anything my neck, I always go up. So, yeah. So after I tone, next I'm gonna go in with my rose water. I just put it in like a little travel spray bottle because this is actually the bottle that I use. Um, I keep this in my, any handbag I have, I always keep this to like spray throughout the day. Um, I'm on my way actually about to go to breakfast because I'm trying to go early because you know the Mother's Day crowd and I don't really want to be in that so we're about to just throw on some workout clothes. Girl, you go, you don't leave the house without you some melatonin, okay? I, girl, I slept so good last night. When I tell you I slept good, child, I was like, leave me here. I don't need to go back home. I slept so good. It was just, child, I woke up at... I have this thing where I always wake up at like 3 a.m. It's just like my thing. I always wake up. Girl, I'm cleaning the bathroom like I live here. I always wake up at um, 3 a.m. And I woke up at 3 a.m. last night. And I end up editing the video that you guys are watching. It was a simple edit. Um, 
And I just said, I did that for a while. It was simple, quick. Girl, next thing I know, I was just literally standing at the window at like four. <laughs> And I just sat on the couch by the window and I just started like literally thanking God. Like that's all I remember, just thanking him and talking to him and just realizing life is like, life really will have you thinking, life is going to up and down and life is going to life. But hold on, next I'm about to go in with my vitamin E serum. All of these products will be linked down below. But life will really have you thinking, oh my face not dry. Life will have you thinking like, Oh, my life is just horrible because sometimes in life we have seasons where we go through things and those things can last months, weeks, years, and that will really get you frustrated and get you down and have you thinking, my life is just the worst, you know? And sometimes when I sit down, like I could be going through something, but as soon as I sit down, it's like I ought, instead of complaining, all I could do is thank him and tell him how grateful I am. Even the fact that I was able to take myself to another city for a few days because I didn't want to be home anymore or I needed, you know, a break from things. Like, I don't take anything for granted, anything, any opportunity, whether it's big or small, because there's somebody out there right now who need a break, but they can't just get up and go to another city. They could barely get up and go to the living room to get peace, you know? So I don't take anything for granted at all. So that's what I was doing. So me and Sky Daddy was having a talk, girl. After I finished praying and talking, I looked up, it was almost five o'clock. So I literally was talking to God for about an hour. But when I go deep into conversation with him, it don't even feel like, you know, an hour or feel like it's been that long. So, and the last thing, well, not really last. I'm about to go in with my favorite moisturizer. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Water Water Drench. This is my jush, girl. I love this stuff. This is my go-to glowy, dewy look when I don't want to wear makeup. All the things you guys are seeing is what I do every single day, especially when I don't wear makeup. So, and this stuff has SPF in it. I don't play about my SPF, girl. And I'm one of the girls, I'm a little lazy when it comes to certain things. I don't need to have like a 10 step face routine every day, like maybe once a week. So I don't wanna have to put on moisturizer and SPF. I'm gonna need y'all to mix it in together because I ain't got time, okay? Girl, I need a bigger claw clip. This clip is so small, but that's what I get from being cheap and wanting to go to Walmart and get the 98 cent one. Now the last thing I do is go back in with my rose water. I love this stuff. Spray the neck. Spray, spray, spray. Let that dry down. And that is how I get my hydrated look. Let's see. I look, I look crazy, but <laughs> um, that's how I get the look. And yeah, once it, settles down and dry down it's going to be like a very glowy natural look i'm about to get dressed and i'm gonna talk to y'all in one second hold on all right so i just have on another nike dry fit try at this point i have these things in all colors i saw they have a nike on um, downstairs i'm actually gonna run by nike today see if i can find some more of these some more yoga leggings all of my workout clothes literally look the same i have a hundred pairs of these pants um, same top, whatever. Um, I have on the Prada sneakers because we need to continue to break them in. Um, I don't have a bag that's appropriate for this look, so I just threw on my little Fendi baguette, nano, whatever, with my favorite Fendi frames, hair is in a ponytail, and we're out. I feel like I literally have nothing in my hands when I'm forgetting something. But I feel like, girl, as long as we got enough money to pay for our food, we good, so. All right. Yeah, I'm forgetting something, but I don't know. <laughs> it is stressful trying to vlog and get, no, lobby. It is stressful trying to vlog and get content for a real TikTok. Girl, one camera at a time, sis. Oof. So, come in, I commend the girls who can do it all. She is not one of the girls. It is a little warm out here, okay? And I got on this long sleeve. Oh my God, I'm gonna be dying and I'm walking. 
I should Uber, but it says the walk is only five minutes. There's a Urban Outfitters there. We're definitely gonna go to Urban Outfitters later. Oh my God. We got a Sephora over here too. I love, oh God, people are looking at me. I love going places in the morning because it's like quiet. Y'all, this is a seven minute walk. This is the dumbest thing I've done. I know damn well I don't like walking. This has been the longest seven minutes of my life. She's sweating. She's gonna do another shower. And snooze look like it is packed. <sighs> out the door on a Sunday fun day in Houston Ugh, much needed I have on this Zara dress this is old um Gucci platforms Gucci bag and rest cuff I'm gonna put on my new Dior sunglasses and this is gonna be the vibe oh and I have on this butterfly necklace from Amazon and the anklets I believe are from Amazon also so yeah girl this is the look what I like about this dress hold on it has like this little scrunch so when I walk it, it scrunched a little already but this is like the natural scrunch I like that I'm really not a mini dress girl but whatever girl legs out let's do it but yeah let me go downstairs out to go to the airport and I came downstairs to do some work and it's like 6 a.m. so it's quiet and they have people eating breakfast and stuff yesterday I didn't really record yesterday was more of like a a chill day I didn't get on Instagram I did nothing I just stopped this is gonna be like a self-care update <laughs> so if you don't want to hear just exit the video at this point girl but on this trip it was so much needed I realized so many things about myself and one thing I'm realizing about myself ever since I started to do content I don't know how to stop like don't record don't just do nothing I don't know how to do nothing I also realized sometimes being productive is not productive you cannot be productive if you are empty and right now the way I feel girl I feel so recharged I feel like energized happy i feel like my creative juices are flowing because i stepped back i did nothing i mean i edit did some edits but the edits were like so quick that it literally probably took like 10 minutes i did that by the pool i didn't really get on instagram i wanted to take pictures and i told myself you know what i don't want to take pictures i don't want to wear makeup i don't want to do anything yesterday was the first day i wore makeup and i'm just realizing i need to take more time to do nothing because sometimes i can use the word being productive and it's not really productive because if i'm not full or recharged i can't be productive i can't produce anything for myself or content or just in life in general if that makes any sense and also another thing when I stopped to do nothing, I started to realize so many parts of me started to come to the surface. And I'm like, oh, what is this? Okay, I wanna work on this, this, this. I just started to really see versions of myself and parts of myself that I may haven't seen in a long time or parts of myself that I'm like, oh my God, I like this girl. Like, I wanna explore her and get to know her more. But I'm realizing when I'm back in New Orleans, I'm always on go. I'm always on go. If I'm not on go, I'm sleep. As soon as I wake up, I'm answering emails. It's like, I have those moments of quiet time, like when I go to yoga and stuff, but I'm realizing I need to be a little more intentional with my quietness. And when in that quietness, I want to practice nothingness, doing absolutely nothing and not feeling guilty about it. And I don't know, these past couple months, I can't lie y'all, I stopped sharing my self-care journey because 
I always want to tell y'all the truth. When it comes to self-care, it's going to be up and down. And I feel like the past couple months, my self-care journey has been on a downward spiral. I mean, that may sound dramatic, but I, the past couple months, I had to learn how to love myself in different situations. I was so used to having a routine. That's why I kind of like broke my self-care routine. I don't believe, oh, excuse me. <clears throat> I don't believe in a self-care routine. You may have a self-care routine that works for a certain thing, a certain time, but the past couple months showed me I needed to take care of myself for each moment. Cause my, I'm a different person in each moment. Like right now, what worked for me yesterday morning, it may not work this morning. So I have to give myself grace to be like, okay, I don't wanna go to yoga. That's not what I need today. Today, I just need to take a walk. I just need to not talk to anybody. So the past couple months, I had to give myself grace in y'all a lot of areas. And I'm very intrigued with my growth and self-care. So when it came to, I saw myself change and I'm like, okay, what is this? I'm that person. As soon as I see one thing, I want to know what is it? Why is it happening? And I feel like the past couple months, maybe since February, my self-care journey has been so painful uncomfortable and i'm just now with this trip i had to literally step away and coming to this trip made me be like oh this is why you're acting this is this because all of the things start coming to the surface because i had no distractions i had nothing to do but just sit here and examine and let me flow if that makes any sense and if we've been honest this was the best thing I could do for myself and it just makes me want to do it more and I just encourage you if you are in a season in your life with your self-care and it's like the uncomfortable part I call it the fire girl go through the fire because when you come out on the other side it's going to be a version of yourself that is beautiful now I feel like I haven't experienced that version of myself but I, I feel it emerging I feel like the change if that makes any sense I see myself changing I see my life changing and I think by me being so aware when I see things changing I always want to have the answers and you're not gonna always have the answers you're not gonna always know why is this happening to me why am I feeling like this I mean some days girl I don't want to get out of bed I feel depressed I feel burnt out I just feel like I want to get away from everybody and I have days where I'm like super happy and I'm like nothing can stop me you know so it's just like giving myself complete grace and i feel like that's easier said than done giving myself complete grace has not been the easiest thing but i'm learning and it's crazy because the one thing that i'm always like afraid of like i can't stop i gotta keep going 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 soon as i stop is when i like replenish that's when i hear from god that's when i get the most creative ideas like right now y'all i have a list of content ideas i have a list of things that i want to do and it's just like it's okay to stop sis it's okay to take a break being productive is not always productive when you're producing from an empty cup you cannot pour if you don't have nothing in your cup and even that i'm realizing i i have to learn to say no to things i can't do everything for people i can't show up for people all the time i have to set boundaries and do what's best for me i know sometimes people want to say they're selfish but i was listening to tory roberts and he said if being loyal to you makes me disloyal to me then we have a problem and i'm realizing this trip made me sit down and realize a few things where I compromised my boundaries to make other people feel comfortable. And now, and it put me in like a bad space with my energy, mentally, emotionally. And after this, I'm not willing to compromise my boundaries at all, at all. And also realizing my self-care looks totally different now, like totally different. And I'm giving, like I said, giving myself grace. Like what self-care used to be to me, it's not that anymore. Like it's like on a whole nother level. Like, and that is okay. That is okay. I'm not gonna have a perfect schedule. And that's what I like. I like everything in order. Okay, girl, I've been talking for a while, but the last thing I wanna say, I've been getting a lot of questions about self help, self-care. I want you to figure out what you need for yourself. Don't let Instagram and YouTube YouTubers make you feel like your journey is not 
going right there's no such thing everybody journeys look different don't let youtube and instagram tiktok make you feel like you have to go to starbucks every day and get a matcha latte to make yourself feel good you have to get a you have to go do something no sometimes you need to go for a walk you need to disconnect you need to stop scrolling on instagram because that's making you depressed it's not helping you you need to figure out what you need to do for you and stop being so influenced by the influencers if that makes any sense because Sometimes, girl, doing a facial and going to get your nails done ain't gonna work. It's not the outer appearance that need help. It's that soul work, that inner work. Because for the past couple months, I've been doing so much inner work. I've been doing that inner child work because we're all adults, but we still have that inner child in us. And so many things come up. It's like you're not the way you are for no reason. So don't let anybody else's journey, don't look at my journey and judge your journey because... I don't know what y'all be saying on YouTube, but y'all G be up and down and up and down. But I'm to the point where I know if I'm down, it's okay because I'm gonna come back up. This is just a part of the process. And every time I have a down moment, when I come up, girl, it's always a beautiful thing. Like literally, I didn't cry so much this weekend, okay? Good tears, but define your self-care journey. Don't let anybody define it for you and just be your best self, sis, whatever that may look like for you be that for you and it's just like another thing when your insecurities come up don't be ashamed of your insecurities don't try to like suppress them and be like I'm not insecure about this because I can't lie this weekend so many insecurities came up for me and instead of running from them I definitely embraced them well not gonna say embrace them I let them flow and now I'm like okay I want to look at this and why am I insecure about this why is this bothering me why don't I like this about myself I feel like insecurities show you, it's like a roadmap. If you're insecure about something, it's showing you where you need to have work at and it's gonna lead to other things. So don't suppress your insecurities and try to fake it till you make it. Girl, no, be who you are in your moment. Right now, if you're in a time in life where you down, be down. You gonna come back up, it's okay. You got this. Just don't fake it till you make it, girl. Go through it, okay? Because the only way to get through it is to go through it, okay? Whew. I feel like I had a self-care breakthrough, girl. But it is 6.22, y'all. I need to get to the airport. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I know the um, employees in this hotel is like, who does she think she is? Sarah Jakes Roberts up in here preaching, but nobody is around, girl. And also, this hotel, I would definitely recommend 10 out of 10. She's gorgeous. Ugh. And it's just a vibe. So, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe.